Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Exotic Enchantress and today I'm going to do a love and romance reading for Cancer Sun, Moon and Rising. Let's see. Okay, Cancer. So, you guys are focused on work, <laughs> on money, on material wealth. <laughs> and you're trying to balance out how um, I could be more present in my relationship, you know? You guys could be addicted right now to making money, to working. Like, it's just money and work right now. And I think because money's flowing a lot, you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab all of this right now. This person that's at home, they they're just gonna always be at home. Yeah, but that's not just how it works. Um, <laughs> it's not how it works. <laughs> you're a little bit obsessed with making money or becoming that person that you have in your mind um i think you need to express your love a little bit more in this relationship this person is um missing the chemistry that you had This person is missing all that time with you because your work. And I know how cancer people can be, both male and female. They can be very focused on work. They could just go through periods of their lives where it's just work, home, work, home, work, home. So I know, I know what I know you guys could be like that sometimes. Um, but Try to try to balance it out, you know? Try to work it out a little bit. If you were working 80 hours a week, try cutting it down to 60. As a, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to go that far. Try cutting it down to 70. At least you have 10 more hours from the week to do things that you like and to do things that your partner likes and, you know... To help this relationship grow. This is a love reading for crying out loud. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's all about money for you. It's all about money for you right now. Um, <laughs> all about money for you right now, Cancer. <laughs> It's a great time to make money for you, but your love department is suffering. So <laughs> yeah. I think when you, I think because you're, you have taken on so much at work, so much responsibility with your finances, I think if, when you think of having to deal with, um, whoever it is that is in your relationship that you're with, I think you feel kind of burdened. So that's why I'm saying that you have to cut back a little on the work area and put a little bit more into the romance department. Pull two more for this.
Yeah, someone's feeling cheated out, cheated on. Maybe the person that you're with feels like all this time that you're spending away from them, maybe you're spending it with someone else. But that's not the case here. The case is that you're at work all the time. <laughs> you're cheating with work. <laughs> you're, you're married to work along with being married or coupled up with another person. But you're not spending that much time with them. You're at work. Work is your priority. Um, so, yeah, this person feels cheated. Okay. They've started to wonder, like, was this a wise choice? So, yeah. <laughs> hey, Cancer. I mean, call them on your lunch break. Buy them something. Buy them some flowers when you're going home. Show them some kind of appreciation, you know? Let them feel special again. It's not always about the money. Money is nice, though, but it's not always about the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> coming from me yeah <laughs> okay cancer please like share subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video bye